Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for a new video. Today, I want to go and give you guys an update on the 3090. I recently dropped a video talking about the 3090 and I wanted to just record a video, do it raw and just be like, okay guys, I'm gonna see if I notice any difference. Now, in the very beginning, I would say I didn't really notice a difference. And it's actually going to be kind of weird how I've noticed a difference. It's actually in the low FPS where I feel like I'm getting a pretty decent advantage. And that's because when you're in an intense build fight in Fortnite or it could be any other game. I mean, this can apply to a lot of things, and it's kind of answering the question, is the 3090 actually worth getting? Oh. Maybe specifically for Fortnite, because that's the game I'm going to be highlighting here, but obviously you can apply it to other games. Now, it depends what game you're playing just as a heads up also, because a game like Overwatch, I can consistently get 240, uh, which is kind of what my monitor can do in terms of its max. And I would say that Fortnite specifically, if you're thinking, oh, I can get a 3090 and run this at 240 consistently, no. I mean, look at the numbers on the top right on the 3090 that I'm running. I'm just running one 3090, by the way. But the thing is, is that maybe with double 3090s, you could get the 240 FPS. But even with a 3090 Ti, I don't know if you're going to consistently get 240 FPS. I've even tried, by the way, in performance mode. I just prefer non-performance mode because as a content creator, the game looks way better in non-performance mode. And the difference between FPS, it doesn't make that big of a difference in terms of consistency of getting 240. Like, yeah, my lowers would probably be better if I played in performance mode. But I want consistent 240. If I could get consistent 240, 40 FPS on Fortnite and performance mode, I would have done it. But I'm more of a guy that enjoys playing like a little bit more on the competitive side of games. Although for Fortnite, you guys know I'm not a fan of Arena because it values people sitting in cones waiting for people to rotate, right? Uh, but let me go and show you guys kind of the stats and I'm going to kind of show you guys a direct example of when I got the 3090 and you can see the difference in the stats and it might surprise you. So first off, uh, here are my Fortnite stats. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop them up, up on the screen. You guys can see them. So this is Fortnite Tracker, and even before I got my 3090, I was already in the top 500. Right now, we are ranked 241. I've basically gotten like 220. It, very, it fluctuates very fast. By the time like the day ends, I might be plus or 20 different ranks over here because there's so many people that play Fortnite to hold your top 500 spot. You have to consistently get very high kill games, getting wins back to back to back, and just performing well. But as of right now, we're 241 on the top 500 for the leaderboard uh, in the legend section for Fortnite Tracker. What's really cool with Fortnite Tracker is it actually contracts your KD over time. So right now we're just looking at my stats for the kill death ratio, which I kind of value more than just getting wins, right? And here is basically when I got my 3090. So we were at a 18 KD and you can see that it dips down the next week. We're at like almost 14. Then we went down to eight and uh, about 10, 9.5. So you can see my KD actually went down. Now you might be thinking, oh, that makes the 3090 a worse thing to get, right? I don't think so. And like, that, those are the raw stats, right? I, the stats can't lie. But at the same time, I want to say that like, I had some insane, insane games. And it also depends who I'm playing with. If I'm playing with my like normal group, we can pop off. But if I'm going in solos, yeah, it's a lot harder in solo squads to uh, really pop off and get a lot of high kill games consistently and also get the win. Because when you get the win in Fortnite, it's a huge different in the kill death ratio because you have zero deaths versus like if I go in get like two or three kills die because I'm basically solo squads yeah it makes things a little bit more difficult right but a lot of people want to know like is it actually worth getting and I'm gonna go ahead and answer it the question in kind of a weird way. So first off, it depends on your computer setup. Like for me, I'm just running 13090. I have the uh, i9 12900K, which is basically one of the best processors out right now. And the 3090 as of right now, because the TI isn't, I believe available still, it's basically the best graphics card. And so I would say it's very expensive. And as time goes on, you know, things will change obviously, but I still think that it will give you an advantage in the lower section. So what I mean by that is if your setup for whatever reason is allowing you to get at least 140 uh, in the FPS, I think it's okay. Like I used to play competitive Call of Duty and going from 60 to 144, I could notice that for sure. Like some of you guys, shout outs to you guys that have been watching me since like the Black Ops 2 Arena days when I would stream and grind that. 60 FPS was totally fine, but now gaming has kind of evolved and going into 120 into Overwatch and even in Fortnite, it's a huge difference. Now going from 140 to 240, I cannot really notice that much of a difference. Maybe it's just like, for me visually, I don't see it, but my gameplay speaks for itself and it's like, actually it is better. I could not tell you that though, but I can definitely tell you going from 60 to 144 is definitely noticeable and it is worth the investment. Heck, the PS5 can only do 120 as of right now. As far as I'm aware of, most of the next gen is just 120, but being able to get 120 is basically all you need for the most part. Obviously 140 is better than 120, but I can notice the difference between 30 to 60. Yeah, it's night and day. Like I, I would complain if I was playing at 30. 
30 FPS. But playing at 60 is pretty solid, but going to 140 is definitely a noticeable difference. But what I really like with the 3090 and what it's allowing me to do, because I wanted 240. I legitimately thought in my head, I, I'm going to get 244. Like, it's, it's fine. I'm not getting it. Look at, look at the numbers. There are times where it's dipping. And I'm playing in the no build mode, by the way. And we've played in the build mode. I think the highest we've gotten this season for like in total in squad kills is 46 for build mode. But in no build, I'm generally dropping about like three or four kills more. And if my teammates are all dropping three or four more kills, we're getting like 10 more. The highest kills we have right now is 55 for no builds as a squad. And that's pretty high. And did the 3090 make a difference? No, not really. To be honest, I believe the, the gameplay that we had for the 55 kill game was on my uh, 2060 super. But with that graphics card, my lowers were dipping. Like you, you saw on the top right, the, the first numbers are current FPS. The second number is going to be our lows. And the uh, third number is going to be like our highs. So you can see the, the frames are fluctuating because Fortnite has so many things to render, right? When someone breaks something or when there's like a huge build fight and one thing breaks, you know, obviously the, the reboot, it's got all this animation. There, there's so much going on in the game. So for those reasons, I want to say that like Fortnite is a very inconsistent game for FPS. So to kind of give you guys a better understanding, it depends on the game that you're playing. Uh, obviously we're, we're playing Fortnite, so I'm going to kind of highlight Fortnite here. But in a game where let's say it's like Overwatch, even going to 5v5, there's going to be two less players in the game so it's two less characters to render you'll probably get better fps on overwatch 2 than overwatch 1 Bruh. at least you know logically since i believe the game is still running on the same engine but they have different like sound engines and but for the most part i think it depends on the game that you're playing also with fortnite I'm getting more consistent lows. That's the second number. I, I dropped to 80 FPS right there. Again, sometimes when you're spectating though and it rotates to like a completely different player, it has to like load everything in if that makes any sense. But if you were thinking that you were gonna get consistent 240 with uh, 13090, yeah, that's just not gonna be the case, unfortunately. Now, in terms of my aim, have I noticed my aim being any better? No, not really. I mean, it's just kind of nice for frame drops in the middle of build fights to not feel kind of awkward, if that makes any sense, where like, your frames drop and it feels like you're like not as accurate but overall also one dimension is going to make you a better gamer going from let's say 144 to 240 because that's kind of the highlight of this video but initially that i wanted to mention i was looking at a monitor that could do 360 i think there's an acer and there's an alienware one that can do it i opted for the benq one with diac plus which is actually more expensive than the other ones and this is not an ad for benq it's not a sponsored video but it didn't matter that i didn't pick up that monitor i was actually thinking about getting it but i wanted to make sure i could at least do 240 40 consistent in Fortnite if I'm going to get a 360 monitor. But the thing is, is that I'm not even getting the FPS in the first place. But also do your research uh, on the monitors, like compare the monitors in terms of like, there's almost like, I want to say like, kind of like ghosting where the game won't run, even though the game runs at that frame rate, the monitor like won't respond to it as well with like BenQ's Diac technology. That was a pretty nasty shot on that guy. But was it the 3090? Probably not, to be honest. What we're listening to also in the background for the music is actually from Cyberpunk, which is the game that I've been playing to make use out of this graphics card because some of you guys came live stream like do you got a 3090 and you're playing fortnite Bruh. the thing is is that i'm not playing fortnite to have the best graphics i'm playing to get the like biggest advantage without putting on performance mode which again i didn't notice a huge huge improvement on getting consistently 240 fps so at that point i was like you know what i'll sacrifice a couple frames so i can give you guys better looking gameplay because honestly performance mode it looks terrible like it literally looks like you're on the nintendo switch no. it, you know like the graphics are just terrible on performance mode so so at least I can deliver you guys better quality content. And that's kind of why I got it in the first place. Because I wanted to see, first off, I, I was I was thinking I was going to get 240, I'll be honest. But uh, we're not getting it anyways. So it, it is giving us an advantage in Overwatch. I, I could have maybe highlighted Overwatch. But I wanted to highlight it in Fortnite because I'm able to track the stats. But I'm curious to know if anyone is watching this video and went from 140 to 240, did you notice a huge difference? Because again, I honestly did not notice a difference. But again, going from 60 to 140, is it is a huge advantage. Advantage, definitely because it just the game feels smoother so I feel like you could aim better but there was also another thing before and I know it's changed but you know sometimes things get patched in now and it depends on the game that you're playing some games your FPS is going to actually determine how accurate some of your aim assists like L2 spams are it's kind of interesting how that works uh, but it, I guess it depends on your game so I would say it's not really gonna give you a huge advantage but that's honestly just my thoughts if you guys enjoyed the video though drop a like on it if new subscribe to the bell if you want to see more of my content I'll catch you guys in the next video so 390 is not gonna give you a huge difference that's that's how i feel man